The first votes for the Republican nomination for Kentucky governor can be made today. As the window for absentee ballots opens, we continue our local election headquarters coverage. Tonight, Bodie Brooks asking who is Trump's candidate. Bodie. Yeah. But several are pitching themselves as the Trump candidate. As the strongest Trump ally. And why is that? Our Fox 56 Emerson College poll last month showing Trump's influence on the race and the candidates fight to get that glow. I'm telling you, this is the greatest rally we've ever had. Donald Trump's popularity among Kentucky Republicans is something several candidates for governor hope trickles down to them too. You know, he endorsed Daniel Cameron. And you know how loyal I'm to Donald Trump? I'm still supporting Donald Trump. Our poll found Trump's endorsement is enough to sway 35% of Republican voters. It's easy to assume that would immediately benefit Daniel Cameron. But Fox 56 News political analyst Jonathan Miller says the wave of competing messages could make that less clear. They might uh, um, appear to less educated voters as the Trump candidate. Uh, when you're talking about Kelly Craft's campaign that uses... Uh, Trump's uh, image in her ads and compares herself favorably to Trump. And uh, you see all the, the work that Dieters has done to try to establish himself as the true Trump candidate. I think they, they might be trying to pick up that 35% as well. And for Cameron, the endorsement puts him on a tightrope not to lose it. And you characterize January 6th as an insurrection? January 6th was a challenge, and we've had protests. Look. The fact of the matter is, is there were protests all across this country in 2020. People were burning down buildings, destroying homes. Cameron wants to make sure that that endorsement stays uh, firm, and so he's going to bend over backwards uh, not to say anything negative about the, the uh, January 6th protest. But the other candidates, the last thing they want to have is Trump come in and attack them. Attacks already being channeled by Eric Dieters. Dieters uh, did a Trump impression that was probably more effective at some times than Trump. I want a Kentucky where we lift each other up and we get stuff done. That's do exactly you, what I'm do doing. Kumbaya doesn't work. Do it's worked in Somerset. No, you, it hasn't. You got Mr. a drug D problem and a water problem. Mr. Dieters. Miller says Dieters' strategy may pick up support among far-right voters, but won't help in the general election, and that's if he gets there. Future debates are an opportunity for the lower polling candidates to move the needle by maybe one or two points. And in a race with 15% turnout expected, that 1% could make a difference. Next Tuesday night, you have a chance to hear from three of the leading candidates for the Republican nomination for governor. Daniel Cameron, Ryan Quarles, and Eric Dieters will be in our studio answering questions on issues important to you. The Fox 56 Republican gubernatorial debate next Tuesday from 7 until 8. We hope you'll join us. Amani.